Allison, and for today's video, we're doing a no repeat step boot camp routine. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. All you need is a step bench and a moderate pair of weights. We'll be doing three big blocks with alternating step cardio moves and total body strength training. I'll be cueing you through all the exercises, but definitely take it at your own pace if you need to. A full warm up and cool down is also included. So grab your equipment and some water and let's get started. Let's warm it up. March it out behind the bench, standing nice and tall and keeping the abs tight. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it out. Good, inhale, breathe. Exhale out. Do it a few times, getting that whole body warmed. Good. You have two more just like that, a little bit bigger. We are gonna use a step during the warm up, so make sure that it's right in front of you. One more. Perfect, shake it up, march out. All right, staying on the floor for the moment. Step those feet out wide. And give me a step, touch side to side. Step, step, good. Nice and easy, we're going about the width of your step. Eight more, in eight. All right, getting used to that bench. We're gonna travel this step touch on the step and then back on the floor. If you'd like to stay here, you can watch my change coming up in four, three, two, looks like this. Step, step, down, down, try it here. I'm gonna lead with my same leg every time, keeping it nice and smooth transition. Perfect. Now just the bench how you need to. If having two risers underneath, like mine is, too tall, you can take it down to one or even just use the platform. Good, keep it going, couple more just like that. Knees are soft, whole foot's on. One more. Perfect, and shake it out, march on the floor. All right, stay here. Leading with that same leg that went up, we're gonna go knees corner corner. In four, three, two, knees corner. Up, knee, down, down. Now if you don't like the arms yet, hands on the hips. Again, get used to that bench. You're gonna see all these moves, or most of the moves later on as well. Knees are soft, abs are tight. If you like to add those arms, reach and pull. Eight more. Heart rate gradually coming up. You're doing great. Four more. Four. Three. Now we're gonna do repeaters. It's a repeater of three. Repeat for three. Go. Three, two, other side. Repeat. Three, two, woo, do it again. Triple knee repeater. Bringing that knee all the way up to the chest. Good job. You have two more just like that. Three, two, one, other side. Actually, I lied, we're gonna do one more of these. Near Peter, just one time. Three, two, back to single knees, corner, corner. All right, pull the single knees. Coming up, we're gonna do that same step touch, leading with the other leg now. You ready? Step touch, try it here, this side. Up, up, down, down. So nice and easy. Woo. Get used to that rhythm. Perfect. Now naturally your other foot is leading from what we started with. If it's not, go ahead and take a moment, get there now. One more. Back to those knees. Knees corner, corner. Knees, good. Perfect. Again, hold foot on, watch your positioning. Four, we're gonna go back to those near Peters. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Rip Peter knee for three, two, Repeat, other side. You can kind of do whatever you want with the arms. Again, here's a reach and pull. Two, repeat, other side. Perfect. Three more repeaters like this. There's three. Can you make it a little bit bigger? Two. Excellent, one more time. Three, two, single knees, corner, corner. Take it up. Good, march on the floor. Woo. All right, we're back to here. Take those feet out wide, squat down and up. Take it down and lift. Squeezing the glutes on top. So the menu for our workout today, three big blocks. Each block's gonna have a few different moves, alternating between some easy combos, <laughs> very easy and short combinations for step, uh, step cardio. And then we'll do some full body strength moves in between those. 
Sound good? We'll keep the heart rate up the whole time. Four more. In four, a little lower. Three, squeeze the glutes on top. All right, one set, pulse for eight. There's eight. Seven, six, in four. Three singles, down and up two times, down a lift. Beautiful, hold this one down, hands on the quads, slow flat back, round all the way, one vertebrae at a time. One more time, flat back down. Stop halfway, dip one shoulder in, look over the other. Little low back stretch. And center up, switch sides. Good, center up, round all the way up. Last couple things, keep both feet nice and wide, lunge side to side. Big arm circles back, fill the lungs with air. Very nice. Last six, five, four, three, two. Hands on those quads, walk it in, flat back last time. Round all the way up to stand, one vertebrae at a time. Hand the shoulders last. Three shoulder rolls back. Three goes forward. Inhale, reach those arms all the way to the ceiling. Exhale down one more time, feet together on the toes, reach and let it out, good job. Grab a drink and I'll meet you back here. Kicking it off, we're not gonna use your weights and we're actually gonna start with a cardio move. We're gonna do a traveling L step and then eventually add some power knees corner corner. So if you're not familiar with step, that's okay. I'm gonna break everything down and then I'll show you different intensity levels. So you pick the one that's best for you. All right, so L step, exactly what it sounds like, shape of an L. We're gonna take it off to the side, step up, tap, make the bottom of the L shape, tap again, step up, tap, step down, step wide, travel, do the same thing on the other side. Tap, tap, up to the side, come back, step wide so you can get to the other way. So I'm gonna call this level one and do this for a couple. Up, tap, down, down, up, tap, down. One more time each side. If you like to progress this move, we're gonna change those taps into knee lifts. Looks like this. Step, knee, step, knee, up, knee, tap. Good, so this is gonna be your, we'll say level two. And then if you'd like to make, take out all the taps and do all knees, you can definitely do that as well. Step, knee, knee lift. Good, all right. And then finally, your last option for today is gonna make these power knees up and down. So this is if you want a little bit more intensity, whole foot on, knees are soft, little hop. I'm gonna keep it with just a knee. All right, one more time each way. So we have these, L steps to the side, and then we're gonna do power knee corner corner. Looks like this, power knee corner. Pop up, down, pop up, hold the corner corner. All right, so that's your high intensity. We did do some of this in the warm up. Knee with no lift, knee with no, no arms. You choose, L step, up. So that's gonna be your whole thing. Woo, up, knee. Knees corner corner, two times. Actually, we'll do four of these knees. Power knee if you want. Do it again. L step, how you like. We have one minute. Go. Lift. You make this what it is. If you want to add those extra hops, do it. If not, keep it low. Number four, corner, corner. Woo! Come on, go back to that L. Step. Everything is at your own pace today. If you're a rhythmic stepper, we're about a 130 BPM. But again, take it at your own pace. Come on, L-step. We're about halfway through time, 30 more seconds, however you like. And then we're gonna pick up those weights and do some strength. Woo, I forgot the knees corner. <laughs> All right, I'll get it this time. All right, if you missed it like me, knees corner. You got it. Breathe. We have about 10 seconds left. Come on, finish strong. And you'll finish with knees corner to corner, wherever you're at. Five seconds left. Finish with those four power knees. Woo! Then you can walk it out. Walk it out. Oh, very nice. Grab your weights. We're gonna do a plie squat and W shoulder press. For plies, toes are flaring out. We're staying on the floor for this. Arms, palms are facing in, elbows tight, spine is long. Combining that plie, drive the arms up, bring it down, elbows come back, loop to your side. Lower the squat is, more intense. 
Think about squeezing the glutes and also lifting the pelvic floor on the top end of the squat. If your arms get fatigued, you can do one arm at a time. All right, so when you're ready, join me, single count. Here we go. Press and down. Exhale, inhale. Woo, making that big V or W shape. Keeping those toes and knees flared out. Squeeze the glutes on top. Drop the hips straight down and up. Eight, seven, keep breathing. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Four more, four. In three, we're gonna hold an isometric plie and do alternating W press. Hold this one down, alternate the arms. Up, other side. This is a little bit quicker. Woo, come on, give me 12, 11, 10, punch it up. Eight, seven, six, I know legs are burning. Four, three, two, slowly bring it up. Take a breath in and out. Back to singles together. Press and down. Woo. We're gonna do that one more time. In four, the isometric hold. 12 alternating quick presses. Ready? Hold the next one down. Press it. Can we go? Drop down those hips one more inch. Then that last set. Yes. Eight, seven, come on. Six, five, four, three, two. Slowly bring it up. Woo. Shake it out, put those weights back to the side. I went ahead and turned my bench um, diagonal so that you can see my footwork. We're gonna do a straddle glute press. Okay, so for straddles, getting that movement down first. Let's start in a straddle position. Without the glute, it's an up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. So this is a straddle move on the bench. Now all we're gonna do is kind of like we did with the L steps, we're gonna replace those taps with glute raises. So it's gonna look like this. Up, glute, down, down. And you'll notice it'll automatically um, alternate the lead leg. If you wanna add some arms, if you like, drop the straddle a little bit lower. All right, I'm gonna stay here. You join me when you're ready. Up, lift, down. Squeezing the glute, standing tall. Abs are tight. Okay, so with this, we're gonna incorporate what's called power sevens, or seven knee repeaters. And that's going to be after we do one side, other side will be that repeater, and we go right back to that glute straddle. All right, are you ready? <laughs> Let's do four of these, three, and two. Next one's a repeater. Repeater seven, seven, six, five. Good, four, three, back to a glute straddle. Step up, glute. Woo, very nice, did you get it? <laughs> You're gonna have a chance. Down. All right, two more, then the other side's gonna repeat. Repeat the other side right here. Notice I'm adding a small hop, swooping my arms. If you're not feeling it, you're here. Three, two, back to that glute straddle. Step, up, lift. All right, we're gonna do that again. <laughs> you didn't get it, that's all right. Four. All right, get ready. Let's do that same side. Blue repeater for seven. Six, five, four, three, two, glute straddle. Step, up, lift. Woo. Very nice, two more. We have the other side. Glute repeater, give me the seven. Six, five, four, three, two, glute straddle, finish it. Get lower. Three, there's two, and one. March it out, very good. Grab your waist, last exercise in block number one. For your last move, we're gonna do alternating or traveling curtsy lunges with an alternating front raise. So starting on top, let's do the lower body first. Curtsy lunges is that leg's gonna cross back. So just for now, um, hold the waist to the side. Swing this outside leg back, lunge. This one's hard to do slow without losing balance. Step out wide, other leg. So once you have it, you can start to make that step on top a little wider and a little bit more smooth. Go ahead and join me and get this down first. This is traveling curtsies. Okay, try to keep those hips from turning too much. Now with this move, alternating front raise. Other arm can swing back slightly, but it's all controlled. We're gonna go one minute, starting now. Whew. All right, this is a no repeat workout. 
So only one big set of each. Anytime you don't like these curtsies, you can definitely do alternate reverse lunges or hit it on the floor. It's totally up to you. Yes. Breathe. Smooth and controlled. Oh, you're doing amazing. We will get a drink break after this. 30 seconds. Stick with it. Arms straight, soft elbows. Good. Breathe. Even though this is strength, heart rate's staying way up there. Good. 12 seconds. Finish strong. Beautiful. Last six, five, four, three, two. Finish the one you're on. Carefully come on the ground, walk it out. Grab a drink and I'll meet you back here for block number two. Welcome back. Go ahead and grab your weights and step on top of your bench. We're doing a set of rows. Now for rows, we're gonna bend the knees, hinge forward, keep the back flat, and then row up and down, keeping the elbows tight. Now the difference today is you're gonna have the option to add some knee drives as well. We'll do it on one side, we'll reset, we'll do it on the other side. If you're not feeling the knee drives, stick with the rows, either standing on top of your bench or on the ground. Okay, take a moment, let's get in position. If you're with me, we're on top, feet together, bend the knees, hinge forward, palms in, pull the shoulders back. Ready, let's row only. Get this upper body motion down first, core is tight, supporting that lower back. Exhale, inhale. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades together in four. All right, keep rowing. Step one toe back. If you like, add that knee drive. Bring it in, extend. Now, if you're really good with balance, you can keep that floating, that moving floating leg up the whole time. I'm adding a light tap on the bottom just to reset and catch my balance. Abs are in. In four, three, we're gonna set the foot on top, keep rowing. Set the foot on top, keep rowing. Up and down. Get, get the other side ready. Here we go. Drive that knee in and out. Exhale, inhale. Whew. Keep it going. Lift, extend. Beautiful. You have two more just like this. One and two, set the foot on top. Rows up and down. Four, three, two more. Good. And release, bring it up, step it down. All right, we're gonna stick with just the upper body, give our lower body a break. Feet shoulder width apart, palms face in. We're gonna go ahead and bring those arms all the way up, do a lat pull down. Driving the elbows back and in towards the side, squeeze, and then bring it up. Ready? Down for two, up for two, we go. Exhale, down, squeeze, press it up. Now I have a little bit wider base here. Knees are bent because we're going overhead. See, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, driving those elbows down to the sides. Four more slow. Here's four, squeeze right there. Up, up, good. Three, back is already feeling this because we did those rows, but now we're just hitting it at a different angle. One more, exhale down. Singles. So singles is still gonna be a little bit slower than tempo. Three, all right, watch my back. Two, next one, hold it down. Toss and squeeze double time. First set of eight, seven, six, drive it down. Four, three, second set. Can you squeeze a touch harder? Eight, seven, six, you got it. Four, three, slowly extend those arms all the way up. Carefully bring it down in front and place it down. All right, coming up, we're gonna do kicks around the world. If you know step, this is a traditional move, but I'm going to review it for you. Before we even add those kicks, around the world steps is exactly what it sounds like. We're moving around the bench. So for, uh, we did earlier some straddles. Looks very similar to that. It's going to be up, up, straddle down, up, up, exit, your back's to me, and then up, up, straddle, straddle, up, up, exit to the front. I'm gonna do this again. This is just your traditional around the world, no kicks. And if you guessed it, those kicks are gonna substitute those step ups. All right, so this is again, you're around the world. I'm gonna do this version one more time. And then we're gonna do those kicks. 
and then we're adding an extra element of hamstrings corn corn later. All right, keep going. This is your kick straddle. Kick straddle, kick straddle, step up wide. Kick straddle, kick straddle, step front again. All right, so get this down first. Now do this once more. After we get back to the front, we're gonna add hamstrings corner corner. In two, hamstrings corner corner. Up, ham. Up, ham. Good. All right, we did it earlier. Hamstring repeater. Three, two, repeater, other side. Three, two, good. Repeat it. Three, two, one, hamstring singles. Single, single, singles. Kicks corner corner, here we go. All right, see that self-reverse? Okay, now we have this down. Let's keep it up. It's gonna be a kick corner corner, two hamstrings corner corner, one hamstring repeater, kick corner corner, reverse it. Get ready. Let's go hamstring corner corner, two times. Up, yes, repeater ham. Three, two, hamstring corner corner, Here's that reversing motion. Kick straddle. There we go. Up, down, down. Whew, if you didn't get it, that's okay. We're gonna do this set for about a minute. Hamstring corner. Bottom minute of the series. Repeat our ham. Three, two, hamstring corner corner. If you know those fancy turns, you can do them. <laughs> Kick straddle. I'm gonna keep it this version today. Breathe. Up. Hands corner. Breathe. Woo! Rip Peter Ham. Here's a little crossover if you want to have fun with it. Hamstring corner corner, yes. All right, can we do it one more time each way? Kick straddle. Up, kick, let's make it bigger. Boom. Up, kick. Hams, corner. Step. Rip Peter Ham, how you like. Three, two, single hams corner corner. Final time. Kick straddle, let's go. Step, kick, down, down. Make it big. Beautiful. Hamstring corners. Step and curl. Repeat that hamstring. Last three. Two, singles, corner, corner. Woo! Awesome, march it out. Very good. Grab your weights. Welcome back. Grab your weights. I went ahead and turned my bench again so you can see my footwork. We're doing alternating reverse lunges with hammer curls. Starting on top of that bench. Your reverse lunge, all it is is going to be step, lunge, step, lunge. With it, keeping it basic because we had a lot of thinking in that last move with those hammers. If you're not feeling the lunges, just stick with the hammers. If you're not feeling the hammer curls, just stick with the alternating lunges. All right, if, we, if you're with me, start on top, palms and shoulders back. We have one minute. Three, two, one. Remember, no repeat. One big set of each. Elbows tight. Whew. Good. Squeeze those biceps on top. Drive through that front foot. No heels hanging off. Good. Keeping that core engaged. And breathe. Everything's at your own pace. So if this is too fast for you, slow it down. If your arms need a break, you can definitely Keep it down, do a couple lunges. If you're not feeling full lunges, you can do tap backs instead like this. Tons of options. Remember, you're not stuck with anything. Breathe. Whew. You're doing amazing. I know this is not an easy workout. Eight seconds left. Then we're gonna put our weights down. One more cardio move. And lower body in three, two, one. Carefully come down. Put those weights down. We're bumping up the intensity with squat pulse up and overs. I am going the long way up and over, the wide part of the bench. That is definitely a little bit more intense. You can go short end of the bench instead and face the side. All right, inside foot's gonna be on. Let's build this and let's recover a little bit in the beginning. Let the heart rate come down before we bring it back up. Four slow squats, staggered squats. Up and over long, four slow squats on that side. We'll do that for two rounds and we're gonna jump right into those pulses. All right, feet a little wider than shoulder apart, toes, hips, and knees forward, abs are tight. Let's go, four singles, nice and slow, four. Squeeze the glutes, two more. Keep the foot on, go over the top. Let's go ahead and take a moment, set your feet up, right? Squats for four, 
four, three, we're gonna do that one, uh, one again, up and over, do it again slow, for four, squeeze on top, good, up and over, slow squats, four, three, two more, all right, those pulses are coming, up and over, you ready? Pulse for eight, eight, seven, six, if you don't like pulses, go back to singles, three, up and over, pulse for eight, Give me eight, good, seven, six, five, here's four, we're gonna cut it down to four. Up and over, pulse for four. Four, three, two, over, good, four, three, come on, up and over, pulse four, you've got it. Four, three, two, over, four, three, two, up and over, pulse two, take a two, over, two, over, good. Again, take your time with these, take breaks as you need to. Four more doubles, three, get what's coming next. Singles, singles, take your time. Down, down, four more speed. I want you to clear the outside of that bench with this foot, woo, pulse, good. Come on, keep it up, keep it up. Breathe, eight, seven, six, then we're building our way back up to pulses of two. Three, I know, I know. Two, woo, pulse for two. Two, over, two, twice more. Almost there, I know it burns. Pulse for four, four, three, two, up and over. Four, this is shorter. Up and over, pulse eight. Eight, final set of each. Six, five, here's four, three, up and over, pulse eight, finish it. Seven, six, five, yes, four, Three, up and over, march it out. Whew. Grab a drink, we're actually taking it down onto the ground with your weights and your bench. And if you feel like an optional mat, grab that as well. Welcome back, grab your weights and if you have a mat set on top of your bench, we're gonna do a set of lying down chest flies with alternating straight leg lifts. When you're ready, lie all the way down on your back, making sure your head, shoulders, and neck is supported, and your hips are also supported. All right, so for chest flies, palms are facing in, abs are engaged, this is the base move here. Open, and then we bring it in. Inhale, exhale. Now, the option for this, and again, it's totally optional, is we add that leg raise down and up. Inhale, exhale, lift. If you're not feeling that, you can keep your legs at tabletop position or flat on the ground. All right, so when you're ready, let's lie down, extend those arms up. Let's go for one minute on this one. In three, two, one. Here we go, nice and slow. Inhale, exhale, lift. Looking up at that ceiling or your shoes, open up the arms, nice and slow. You're bending those elbows. Inhale, exhale, full extend, keeping the elbows soft. Take a quick check on yourself for your lower back. Is it arching? If it is, engage that core a little bit more or do not drop that leg as low. Inhale, exhale. Not feeling those legs, place them down or a tabletop. Yes, you're doing amazing. Keep it up, keep it up. We have about 25 seconds left. Come on, down and lift. Woo, you're doing great. Chest is feeling it. Breathe. Nice job, nice job. Up and down. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Place it down, place one of these weights down and hold this one horizontally. All right, set those feet down and have a little bit wider stance. We're gonna inhale, bring the weight back. Exhale, take it over towards one knee. Bring it back center. Exhale, crunch, take it over towards the other knee. If you're not feeling the weight, place it down and you can keep your hands light behind the head and do alternating twists instead. We're gonna do this one for 30 seconds, one set. Coming up in five, four, three, two, let's go. Exhale over, exhale other way. Can you lift high enough till the shoulder blades are off the bench? Good, lift down, yes. Engage the core. Keep breathing. Take it up, take it up. All right, over halfway through. About 10 more seconds left, keep going an inch higher. I know you can. 
There it is. Woo. Yes. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Go ahead and set that weight down. All right, carefully come up. Take a seat more on the lower part of your bench. You're gonna reach back. Um, hands can kind of cup around it. We're doing some little reverse crunches here. So engage the core, sit up tall, crunch in, fully extend, in and out. So we're gonna do actually 20 seconds with the knees in. We'll drop the feet down, reset, and then we'll do 20 seconds with alternating um, the knees at an angle. All right, 20 seconds starts in five, four, three, two, let's go. Exhale when the knees come in. Farther back you go, more challenging, but that's too much. Your modification is keep the feet down and do alternating knees instead. It's up to you. Eight seconds left. Now take a 10 second rest. Whew. Five, four, three, two, set the feet down. Quick 10 seconds. And then we're gonna do alternating angles. And if you have your um, heels down and you wanna do alternating uh, knees instead, you can do that. All right, ready? In three, two, one, here we go. Alternate. In, out. Get those obliques. Woo! Yes. Definitely feeling these. Good job, good job. Woo! Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. We only have two exercises left in this workout. For your last cardio move, we're gonna take it down, hands on the bench, do four mountain climbers and a jump in. So think of it, we'll call it a mountain climber burpee. <laughs> we're gonna have our hands on top, high plank, abs in, four mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, plant the feet, jump in, go into a low squat, plant those hands down, jump back, and then we'll do it again. Up and in. Let's do this one big set for 45 seconds. Now, uh, really quick before we start, if you wanna do this slow version, you can do four in, step, step, back in. Sound good? All right, 45 seconds, starting in five. Get in that high plank, three, two, one, here we go. Four quick, plant in, boom. Plant down, go back out. Breathe. Staying low the entire time, Boom, heels are down on that squat. Remember your low version, slow it down. Step in, step right back out. Woo, come on, come on. This is it, your last cardio. For the last 20 seconds, make a count. Woo, yes, breathe. You're almost there. 10 seconds left, it's in you. Breathe. Five, four, finish the one you're on. Three, two, and one. Good job. For your last exercise, take a seat to start. We're doing a set of tricep dips. Tricep dips, lots of different versions you can do. Your hands are on top of your bench. If this bothers your wrists, have your dumbbells right here and that can keep your wrists in line or you can do it on the ground. Okay, so for tricep dips, base version, feet flat, body weight move. Drop the hips down and up, shoulders back, elbows tight. The farther out extended your legs are, the more challenging it is, more body weight. If you wanna have some fun with it, you can add some alternating knee lifts. Um, you can add a reach for the toe. I'm not feeling very adventurous to do that one today, but if you know the options, do it. One set, 30 seconds, that's it. All right, take a breath in and out. We're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, exhale, press up. Shoulders back, elbows are tight, arms parallel to each other, dropping that booty down and up. Challenging you here. So you can add some knee lifts, whatever you want, have fun with it. Base version, feet are staying planted, less body weight to press. Finish strong. Last 12 seconds, here we go. Woo, 10. Nine, come on, eight, seven, six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, you did it. Great job with that workout. Let's finish off with a nice quad on a stretch. 
Go ahead and get into a position like me. I'm laying perpendicular to the bench with the heels on top. All right, starting off, I'm gonna keep one heel down, extend one leg in the air, leg grass behind the hamstring, point the toe, inhale, and then exhale, gently bring it in. Feeling that nice hamstring stretch. Deep breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let that heart rate come down. Good. Hold that stretch, flex the foot. Now that was a pretty intense step workout, but you did great. If you got all those cardio combinations, nice work. Roll the ankle, reverse directions. Good, go ahead and drop this leg 90 degrees. Let's take your other leg, cross it over for a figure four stretch. Inhale, exhale, bring that leg in. A little bit more, press that elbow against the inner thigh. Like always, you can hold these stretches longer than what we're doing in this video. Remember, this is your workout, your time. If you're with me, gently unravel the legs, set the other heel down, extend that um, second leg in the air, grasp behind the hamstring, point the toe, inhale and exhale, bring it in. Good. Whenever you're ready, flex that foot. Roll the ankle out and reverse. Beautiful, drop it 90 degrees, cross it over, and bring that leg in. Good. Oh, nice work. And go ahead and gently uncross, bring the knees in, one, two, three, rock it up, swivel it around. We're gonna place our hands now on top of that bench and do some cat cows. Inhale. Exhale, pull the belly button, the spine, round that back, wiggle it out if it feels good. Center up, flat back gazing forward. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, flat back. One more, exhale in. Inhale, flat back. All right, embrace the core. We're gonna go into a downward facing dog. So hands, we're gonna stay on top um, of the bench. Lift the knees hovering, inhale, exhale. Pop those hips up. Pedal out those heels for the calves. Shake up the head. Beautiful, and then press those heels down. Round that spine to a high plank. Drop the knees, and let's go ahead and sink back for a nice child's pose. Deep breath, inhale, exhale out. One more time, inhale, and exhale out. Good, slowly bring this up and let it go. Great job, you're all done for today. My name is Allison, thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job at completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.